Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Power my come on another podcast where we talk facts over feelings. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomot, and I am rolling, rolling, rolling tonight. I got another one for you because, my goodness, how can I not? I sit here. I got my three TVs on. I've been watching women's basketball all day. Been watching it all day. All right. Watched USC just play against Seton Hall. Watched UConn play against Ole Miss. Big time fourth quarter by Paige Beckers. No question about it. They're up 19 at the half. That shit got down to three points in the third quarter. But Paige Beckers did her thing in the in the fourth. She did her thing. Finished with 29 points. In front of uh, about 1,000 people, if that. For which you will not get an attendance number because they don't show it. But... uh this is what I, I, I'm, I'm not talking about that game. I'm talking about this USC game against Seton Hall. The one game that was televised on real television. Folks, yes, not free, but inclusive with your cable package or YouTube TV package or your Hulu TV package or whatever television package you have. Not a streaming service. USC won. They won big. Juju Walker's at 20 points. She had 20 points. She had a good game. She did have a good game. But my, oh, my, oh, my. Listening to these, listening to these broadcasters after the game, it's like they're trying so hard. They're trying so hard. Juju finished with 20 points, 7 of 13 shooting, 2 of 4 from 3, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 blocks, 1 steal, 8 turnovers. She's not the fucking point guard. 8 turnovers. 8. She's playing college still. They won 84 to 51. Let's look at it. Let, let, let's let, let's just. I'm gonna let you hear what was said post game. I recorded it from my screen, so you could listen to this stuff. What we saw between USC and Seton Hall, because as in, anytime Juju uh, Juju uh, Watkins is on the court, it is super special, and we saw it in this one here. Juju just has this presence, and we talked about it, Randolph, right? Like, anytime she is there, everybody wants to see it. Or it is super special, and we saw it in this one. I rewound it. Juju just has this presence, and we talked about it, Randolph, right? Like, anytime she is there, everybody wants to see it. Pause. He just said, anytime she is there, everybody wants to see it. All right. That's Juju Watkins shooting a free throw with six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Man, that guy over there on the far left right here, he, he, he should have brought a bed with him. He should have had a king-size mattress that he rolled out of the hotel with. Bro, you cannot be serious. You cannot be. If you're going to make a comment like that, Please, at least, leave out that other bullshit. <clears throat> you know where this game was at? This game was at the Acrishore Arena. You know where the Acrishore Arena is? It's in Palm Springs, California. You know where Palm Springs, California is? in comparison to Los Angeles by car. I am not an expert in California, but I'm looking at a map. It is a two hour drive. That's probably LA traffic because a hundred miles where I live, I guess I get there in an hour and a, yeah, maybe two hours, Yeah, two hours. If you're going really, really slow. Cause if you're going to 80 on the expressway, from my house to 
what's a hundred mile a hundred miles away, you get there an hour and twenty. But two hours. Two hours. It's a fucking home game for USC. That's what the arena looked like. You don't believe me? I'll give you another one. I'll give you another one. Actually, I'm going to save that one for the end. And I think that one is the most telling of them all. There's another. This is the bench. There's no one sitting behind them. Folks, this building was empty. When I say empty, I mean absolutely freaking empty. I've not I've not seen an attendance this low for a team like this. Maybe I mean maybe it's because I haven't watched women's basketball long enough or been paying attention too long, but why even have this event? This is a money loser. Here, I'm gonna give you one more. <clears throat> this is the last one. Right here. This is the one that really sums it up for you. Take a look. Folks, folks. This is the, look at this shit. Look at this. These sections are all empty. The upper level. I'm guessing that's a curtain or they just didn't even waste their money on putting a curtain down. This arena sees 11,000. 11,000. You this is this is this is what you're telling me? This is in the second quarter. Look at this. Look look what folks. And this is what both sides of the arena look like. When I tell you if there were 500 people there. That's a big count. I'm dead ass. 500 people. 500 people would it be a high count. And let me show you something else. <clears throat> Before I go back to this video of nonsense. Folks. I'm going to, I'm going to, I got to zoom this thing. See the, the, the arena? Acrisure Arena. 7 p.m., November 27th, True TV, Palm Springs, California. Usually, the attendance is put right here. Usually, the attendance is put right here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do one better. I, I got I got I gotta check. I, I gotta check this because I didn't check this beforehand. I've got to check this. But you, they're not even showing the attendance, folks, because it's utterly. Humiliating. It's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. This is this is inexplicable. This is a home game. It's two hours from LA. You have a top 10 team. You have arguably one of the top five players in the nation. In some people's opinion, the best player in the nation. And you're sitting here in a building that is so damn empty, it makes no sense. Yeah, here, I'm, I'm looking at USC's website. They don't have the attendance here either. I think they looked at the crowd and they said, why in the world are we going to put the attendance up here and embarrass ourselves? <clears throat> Let me see the PDF. Do they have it here? Nope, there is no attendance number. Folks, I'm telling you right now, if I didn't show this to you, you would not believe me. You would not believe me if I showed this to you. You would not believe me if I showed this shit to you. You wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe me, would you?
Let's jump back into this thing. There was 500 people max. And that might include the staff inside the arena. Because you could bet your ass 500 people didn't buy a ticket to this thing. She's the face of, uh, I would say, her and Cooper Flag are the face of college basketball. All right. That's Randolph Childress, former Wake Forest player. Grew up watching that dude. God, I remember him when he played against North Carolina. I mean, that was, I was in high school. I remember him. I mean, that man was a stone-cold killer. His jump shot was sick. I, I, I was really surprised he didn't have a better NBA career the way he would absolutely do things to Carolina that would make me cry because I was a big UNC fan growing up. I still am. But the face of basketball and Cooper Flag, what are you talking about? See, this is the, the inorganic component here. She is not the face of shit. The face of basketball would not have an empty building like that. The face of basketball? Playing in front of 500 people? You've got to be kidding me, bro. But let's continue. And, and I wouldn't say there's any particular order. I mean, she's that popular. She's that good. She's that popular. She's that good. If you're so damn popular, why is anyone there to watch you play? Tell me why there's no one there to watch her play. Two hours outside of L.A. Are you telling me that if Caitlin Clark is playing in that building that she's not overflowing that motherfucker? Are you kidding? Uh, but it is interesting. I think the responsibility, how she handles the pressure that comes with this now, this is all new to her. And she'll be around for a couple of years. So be interested. Uh, hold on. See, she averaged 27 a game last year. She had attention last year. Stop acting like no one paid attention to her last year. She got tons of attention because of Caitlin last year. Tons. 27.1 points per game. This year, she's averaging 22. Tonight, she had 20. So her, her average might have gone down. A little bit. She shot better, thankfully, but she committed eight turnovers. And she ain't the point guard. Gonna see how she handled things going forward, but she's the good. She was good as advertised. Yeah, it's a different time in the game, especially on the women's basketball side, all the attention that's coming in, NIL, etc. And I think No, oh, shut the fuck. All the attention. All the attention. Tell me about that attention, whoever you are. Tell me about that attention. I, I, I want you to repeat to me about this attention. What's this? Man, look at all that attention. There's, there's, there's the empty seat attention is a lot of attention. Oh boy. Folks, you're talking about there's not even 100 people right here. There's not a, if there's 150 people on each side, it's a high count. All the attention. The biggest thing, and you both know this, is that jump from your freshman year to your sophomore year. Teams are scouting in on her um, now more. Um, she's having to lead this team as they have new transfers coming in. They lost three great players that they had around her last year. Three great players coming in, but she's having to lead the team. All right. Three great players, right? Three great players. She has to lead the team. Second year, right? You just, you just, a lot. I mean, listen to the fucking excuses. It's like the excuse brigade. <clears throat> the excuse brigade here. Let, let's take a look. Lynn Clark as a freshman, averaged 26.6, 7.1, led the country in assists. I'm sorry, led the conference in assists. My bad. 5.9 rebounds. Shot 47% from the field, 41% from three. 86% from the line, 26.6. Her sophomore year, where people had the chance now to, to scout her because she's leading the team, right? Because she was leading the team last year too, right? So when Caitlin Clark had people scouting her, she was leading the team, right? And she averaged 27 a game, eight assists, led the country, 45% from the field. Three-point shot went down to 
88% from the line, eight rebounds, one and a half steals. Steals went up. All her, all her numbers went up for the most part, scoring. Shooting, per, shooting percentage went down a little bit. Yeah, it did. She started shooting more threes as well. Or she actually saw about the same. Her numbers and threes like skyrocketed her senior year. But all that said, her numbers went up. Juju Watkins this year is averaging 22 a game. Her rebound numbers have gone down. Her assists have gone up a little bit. Her steals went up a little bit. Her blocks went up a little bit. Her shooting percentage is virtually the same. Her three-point shooting is utterly terrible. Today she was two of four. But she's shooting 18% from three. But let's let's continue because l- listen to the excuses. Listen to the bullshit. And what I say is, you know, you, when you are the best player on the team, you're going to get every team, every team, every scout report is going to be at the top of the list. So, so did Caitlin. Move on. Where she's at right now, you know, she's definitely one of the most talented players in college basketball. No argument. I completely agree. She's one of the most talented players in college basketball. No argument whatsoever. Is she the best one? No. She's not. <clears throat> she's not the best player in college basketball. I would argue that Paige Beckers is better. I'd argue Paige Beckers is better. I may have to argue that Hannah Hidalgo is better right now. I absolutely would argue that Lauren Betts is better. But Lauren Betts plays a different position. But for the ones that are playing a similar guard, two guard, wing player, yeah, I don't, I don't see it. Not right now. Not right now. She's shooting 21% lower than Paige Beckers. Flage Johnson, she's shooting 11 or 12% lower than Flage Johnson. Teams are focused on Paige, Flage, Hidalgo, and all of them shoot a higher percentage than Juju Watkins. And Juju Watkins is the biggest one of them all. She's 6'2. Like you said, RC on the men's and women's side. And the way she plays, you know, she, she's a generational talent. Shut up! They said this three times. I don't think I have it three times. They said that three times. Generational talent. Folks, I use that term for, for, for Caitlin Clark. You cannot be a generational talent the year after the year after a generational talent. Sorry. Caitlin Clark was generational. Juju Watkins is just really good. Paige is just really good. Caitlin was generational. She changed the sport. Need I remind you, this is what a generational talent does? Empty fucking building? Empty building? That's not generational. That's forgetful. No one cares. The way she goes out there and delivers, but she has to take better care of the ball, which is early. She has new teammates. and At least he acknowledges she's not taking care of the ball very well, but now he's making excuses because she has new teammates. It takes time to get used to your, your, your new surroundings, and especially with her having uh, a target right now. That's what's going on right now. Every time she steps on the court, she has to play great every time because so many eyes are watching her. Let's break down the video here because we got some. Uh... All right. <clears throat> Need I remind you? Need I remind you? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about this. USC is loaded with talent, by the way. Loaded, folks, loaded. Let's go look at something real quick. <clears throat> Kaylin Clark, her sophomore year, 26, 19, 25, 16, 22, 24, 26, 21, 19, 44, 30, 31, 24, 31, 35, 18, 20, 28, 43, 27, 46, 32, 19, 18, 29, 32, 38, 19, 41, 18, 27, 15. She had some good games. She had some bad games. She had some great games. She had some not so great games. Her low scoring total the whole year was 15 points. That was actually probably her worst game of the year, and that was actually in the round of 32 when they lost in the in the turn in the tournament. She had some rough games naturally, but she's still shooting it. She still shot four and a half percent better than Juju Watkins is right now from the field. <clears throat> Folks, like this is not this is and, and how many how many double digit assist games does she have? 10, 12, 12, 10, 11, 18, 11, 10, 12, 11, 
10, 11. That game, where her last game where she didn't play very well, she still had 11 assists. Look, if she played better, they'd have won that game probably. Realistically, they probably would have won that game. But come on, man. Come on, man. Look at this. You're not going to sit here and tell me that this is generational. This is not generational. This is regular women's college basketball. This is an 11,000-seat arena, two hours outside of Los Angeles, California. And nobody went to the game. Nobody went to the game. And you got people on a damn broadcast talking about the attention of women's basketball. NIL, generational. There's not a single game besides this game that's on actual television. The rest of them are on this flow hoops, streaming service, ESPN Plus, streaming service. But I'm going to get back to my TV and watch a whole bunch of men's games that are on ESPN that I was watching today. Look out of here, man. Empty building. She has a magnet for empty buildings in the greater Los Angeles area. It's embarrassing. Stop comparing them. Stop telling people that she's generational. Her game isn't even showing that this year right now. And I'm tired of having to make it. I'm tired. I'm going to keep making them, though. I'm going to keep showing you every damn day. They don't announce the attendance. Because a high school team draws more than this. A fucking high school team. Let's see if they updated it yet. I'm giving them a chance. i to go turn on the Carolina game. Look at this, LSU versus NC State. And I've watched this game, and I am a humongous, folks. I'm going to be riding Flash Nate Johnson all year. I'm letting you know. Her and Lauren Betts and Hidalgo, I'm going to ride them this year. <clears throat> I'm going to watch Iowa for sure. I became an Iowa fan. I kind of I feel like an Iowan now because I've been, I've been watching Caitlin Clark for so long. But this is in the Bahamas. 327 people. I watched this game. There was not 327 people in that building. It was empty. If there was 50, that would be a high count. 50 fans. I don't mean employees. But they're not in, they don't have the numbers for the UConn game, and I just watched that one too. Yeah, that one doesn't have numbers. That one probably was more full. Maybe there was 1,500. But it was also at 7.30 at night where the, the LSU game was at 1.30 in the afternoon. But I love Flage Johnson. She killed. She kicked ass today again. She she did her thing again. She didn't lead them in scoring, but she does everything for that team. She does everything. She's 5 of 7 for 16 points. I mean, what efficiency are we talking about there? Beautiful. Michaela Williams led him with 24. <clears throat> and they dominated. They won by 17. The one game I didn't see was Duke against Oklahoma, which I wanted to see, and I didn't see that game. That was a 109-99 game. I, I, I wish I had seen that game. That game was in Henderson, Nevada, Lee's Family Forum. No attendance listed. Didn't see it. I have no idea. Maybe I'll catch a, re a rerun of it. I don't know. <clears throat> UK, K Kentucky against Illinois. This was the Music City Classic. Kentucky was ranked 14th. Illinois by 76-53 was ranked 19th. Here we go. Attendance 368. That is un that is unreal. They should play in high school gyms. This is embarrassing. But here, still, there's no, there's no, there's no attendance for this. No, no, we have no idea how many people went. It's a bad look, folks. It's a bad look. Don't tell me that people are. 
flocking to see it in the damn post game. Like, did he just watch this? This man says this. This man said this after watching this and saying, people want to watch her. Where? Show me the ratings tomorrow. They'll hide them. They won't release them. We won't know. Let me know your thoughts. Like, subscribe, follow, hit that bell. Hit the like button. Make a comment. I want to know what you think because do not tell me that this is must-see TV or people really want to watch this when you're playing in an empty building. Empty fucking building. Facts over feelings. Come on now.